Assalamualaikum and hi everyone So today like I've been sitting in the class uh, Saya akan buat video on tutorial 3 First kita buat uh, question, apa, objective question dulu okay? Macam biasa Alright so Latin heat is hidden because Cannot be measured Now it can be measured because we can calculate it Does not actually exist Of course it does exist Form of internal energy? Nope so the answer is D. Cannot be seen in the form of temperature rise because the energy used to break or form bond. Okay. So a substance changes from a solid state to gas state. This process is called sublimation, of course. A liquid naphthalene begins to solidify. Which of the following is true? Okay, liquid to solid. Of course lah dia dalam. Uh, kalau kita tengok this uh, apa ni heating curve or cooling curve uh, this one should be cooling curve lah sorry sebab dia liquid to solid so this one should be cooling curve uh, sini lah eh so of course lah dia latent heat therefore temperature increase ni decrease temperature tak ada perubahan so salah lah COD and release or absorb depends kalau dia cooling of course lah dia kena release. Okay. Kalau dia absorb je dia, uh, sorry, kalau dia heating, maksudnya dia bertukar daripada solid to liquid, then heat is absorbed. Okay. To break the bond. And heat is released to form bond. This one of course lah form bonds but they have liquid to solid. Okay. Now, the fourth one. Latent heat of a presentation water is heat absorbed by, okay, this one is just a um, meaning. Increase, increase temperature, decrease temperature, tak payah baca. Confirm, confirm, salah. Okay, now kita tengok baca dulu. 1 kilogram of water change to steam without change in temperature. Okay, vaporization of water eh. Water change to steam without change temperature. Okay, ni sama. Yang tak sama ni ialah kat sini. Satu dia guna 1 kilogram which is the mass. Satu dia guna 1 meter cube which is the volume. So, in latent heat, of course lah kita deal dengan mass. Never the volume. We don't care about the volume. The specific heat, the specific latent heat of fusion of ice is the quantity of energy required to, again, ada rise in temperature je, tak, uh, confirm lah salah. So, B or D. Let's see. Fusion of ice. So, change 1 kilogram of ice from water to steam without a change in temperature. Steam, are you sure? So, salah lah. Steam vaporization sahaja. So, jawapan ni donkey. Okay, six. The diagram shows the process in which ice is changed to water. The heat absorbed during the process is called. Ha, apa nama dia? Specific heat capacity je salah. Okay, because this one we are talking about the phase change. Therefore, sama ada latent heat vaporization or fusion. Vaporization, liquid to steam or vice versa. So, it should be fusion lah. Ice to water or water to ice. Both are latent heat of fusion. Cumanya, satu absorb, satu release. So, absorb from ice to water, release from water to ice. Okay, now seven. Which changes change of state of matter involve the specific heat, the specific latent heat of vaporization? Okay, again, vaporization from liquid to steam or steam to liquid. So, this one, confirm, confirm lah salah. Water to water, this one is just specific heat capacity because ada increase in temperature from 0 to 100. So, jawapan dia, tongki. A. <coughs> Diagram shows the process of change of state in which process is latent heat of vaporization is released. Okay, so bila release, kita tahu vaporization is liquid to steam or steam to liquid. So, yang mana absorb, this one lah absorb, liquid to steam. And then, steam to liquid is released. Sebab kita nak form bond. Jadinya, belah sini tak ada tengok lah. Salah dah lah. Sebab dia ice to water or solid to liquid. Now, kita kena tengok part sini. So, liquid to sort, uh, liquid to steam or steam to liquid. Again, dia punya uh, main point dia is release. So, jawapan dia C lah. Condensation. Okay. From steam to water or from gas to liquid because you want to form a bond. 9. Diagram shows the phase change in four processes, W, X, Y and Z. Which of the following is matched correctly? Okay, let's see. 
Okay, so dia punya matches dia is processed dengan heat whether release or absorb. So, kalau dia letak WX, the same kind of heat release salah lah. Sebab satu release, satu absorb. This one will be release, this one will be absorb. And then this one as well, this one absorb, this one release. Okay, so WX, Y and Z, this one confirm, confirm lah salah. Because the changes are not the same. So, X and Y is absorb, salah. W and Y is released. Yes, eh, sorry. W and Y is absorbed. So, the answer is donkey. 10. The graph shows the heating curve of a solid substance. At which stage is the substance in a solid and liquid state at the same time? Okay. Uh, yang saya dah terang dalam video saya, sama je. So, this one is heating curve. Am I too fast? I'm sorry. So, of course, lah heating curve from solid to gas, kan? Okay, so bila ada increase in temperature lagi ni, dia masih lah solid. And then this one will be liquid. So here, bila sampai dekat latent heat ni, sebab dia nak tukar from one phase to another. Of course lah, before it totally change, dia akan ada both. So this one will be ada solid and liquid. This one will be ada gas plus liquid. Ha, okay. Jadinya dia nak solid and liquid state. So, of course lah Q and R. Okay. Diagram shows a graph of relationship between the temperature and time when an ice changes gradually to steam. Ha, dia dah bagi tahu ice to steam. So, this one will be ice. This one will be ice plus water. Water, water plus steam. And then that one will be steam. Which phase shows the process of the latent heat of fusion being absorbed? Okay, again, water to uh, steam will be vaporization, latent heat of vaporization. Deal, this one will be latent heat of fusion. And of course, absorbed because it's from solid to liquid. So, the answer is Q. The graph shows cooling curve of a substance. Which of the following is true? At section XY, heat is not released. No, heat is released because there's a cooling curve. At section X, uh, Y and Z, the substance exists in the solid and liquid state. No, bila ada change in temperature, it will be only one state. At section W and X, the average kinetic energy of substance molecule decrease. Okay, first, average kinetic energy, of course lah, ada relationship dia dengan temperature. Okay, the higher the average kinetic energy, the higher the temperature. This one is just a normal gas punya properties, okay? Gas, gas theory. Kita akan belajar gas theory ni dalam chapter, no, dalam subtopic 4.4 nanti, which is gas law. Tapi for now, beberapa kali dah saya dah pernah beritahu kan? Kinetic energy, of course, ada kaitan dengan temperature. The higher the kinetic energy, the higher the temperature. Okay, so, at at section WX, the average kinetic energy of substance molecule decrease. Okay, maksudnya temperature kat sini pun decrease. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Nampak ni temperature daripada somewhere here sampai sini, dia akan decreasing. So, the answer is C. D is just wrong lah sebab dia kata increase kan. Alright, 13. The graph shows the cooling curve of a graph, of a graph, sorry, of a gas. At which stage is substance in the liquid and solid state at the same time? Okay, so dia tanya kat mana substance liquid and solid sama-sama. Kat mana? Maksudnya ada liquid and solid lah at both, at that stage. Okay. So this one, bila cooling curve meaning dia from steam. And of course steam and liquid or you can say gas. So this one, sorry. Jai. Okay, PQ will be gas. Sebab from gas kan. And then this one gas plus liquid and then liquid. Liquid plus solid and it will be solid. So, at which stage stage is the substance in the liquid and solid state? Maksudnya, both will be as T lah. Donkey. Diagram shows the cooling curve of a... Uh, sorry, 14. Diagram shows the cooling curve of a liquid. Which statement explains what happens in section QR? Okay, QR. Cooling curve of a liquid. So, minute is going to start from... Liquid. Ha, dia tengok ayat eh. Kalau gas, gas lah. This one from liquid, so liquid. This one of course lah akan jadi liquid and solid. Alright. 
No heat is released. Nah, that's wrong. Heat is always there. Juma is either to increase the temperature or to break the bond or form bond. Latent heat of fusion is absorbed because it's a cooling curve, so it won't be absorbed. It is released. Okay. Kinetic energy of, if, of the molecule unchanged. Okay, I dulu. The liquid experiences a phase change from liquid to gas. Salah lah. So it's a cooling curve. So liquid to solid. So the answer is C because kinetic energy again. Dia ada kaitan dengan temperature. So kat sini ada temperature uh, increase or decrease? No. Temperature stay the same sahaja. Jadi jawapan dia C lah. Unchanged. Okay. The kinetic energy also unchanged when the temperature is unchanged. 15. The graph shows the heating curve of a substance. Which of the phase level A, B, C, D shows heat is released during the freezing process? Okay. Freezing process means... Kita nak tukar from liquid to uh, solid or water to ice. Depends lah. Tapi selalunya liquid to solid lah. Freezing. Okay. Anything yang freezing, semua change liquid to solid. So, dia nak tanya heat release. Okay. Bila heat release, is a cooling curve. So, gaseous phase of course lah salah kat sini. Dah salah. Freezing kan. Jadinya jawapan dia donkey. Because this one would be condensation, this one would be boiling or uh, evaporation, C would be just boiling to increase the temperature, this one lah would be freezing. Okay, 16. Diagram shows the heating curve of a sample of naphthalene. Alright. Naphthalene starts to boil at the time, starts to boil. Ha, kita kena tengok ayat dia. Starts to boil meaning. Okay, kat sini dia masih solid. Kat sini solid plus liquid. And then kat sini dia liquid. So, ni increasing temperature. Ha. And then kat sini dia dah, dia dah liquid plus gas lah. Therefore, starts to boil at Z. Kat sini baru dia start to boil. So, jawapan dia donkey. 17. When the hot steam condenses to water, apa jadi bila condense? So, kita kena tahu kat sini akan jadi latent heat of vaporization is released. Ha, sebab dia steam to water. So, density, tak kaitan. Absorb, nope. Uh, kinetic energy remains constant, yes. Because of temperature remain the same. T1, T2 lah yang panggil, okay. The distance of separation between molecule increase, no. This one would mean dia akan jadi liquid to gas. Tapi kita sekarang ni gas to liquid. The rate of evaporation of water in a glass can be reduced by putting the glass. Okay, this one aku nak belajar dah. Time form 2. Okay, rate of evaporation ada banyak. Ada surface area. Ada um, apa? temperature of the surrounding. Uh, movement of air. Satu lagi humidity kan. Ha, ni baca balik dekat atas pun ada. I mean dekat this module punya uh, notes. Okay. So in a hot oven, of course lah. Sebab dia nak reduce eh. Hot oven of course akan increase because when temperature increase, rate of evaporation also increase. In a closed room, not really. In a rotating fan, no. Because movement of air increase, rate of evaporation pun increase. In a air conditioned room. Okay, apa maksud dia ni? Maksudnya, air humidity dia increase. Okay. Uh, kelembapan udara increase bila you dalam aircon. Jadinya, of course lah bila kelembapan udara increase, water evaporates. Eh, sorry. I'm sorry. In air conditioner can be reduced by putting up. Ah, betul lah. So, maksudnya, bila air humidity tu higher, Kita punya rate of evaporation will decrease. So, jawapan dia in an air conditioned room. Okay. Alright. 19. Water takes a shorter time to boil. Oh, wait. This one is all ada dalam this module punya um, punya notes lah kat atas tu. Okay. Dia cakap pasal rate of evaporation. Dia cakap pasal how the pressure affect the boiling point semulah apa benda yang affect boiling point dengan freezing point and apa benda yang affect the evaporation okay so 19 
Water takes a shorter time to boil when heated at the top of a mountain than at the bottom of the mountain, although the same amount of energy is used. This observation is due to, okay, dekat atas, dekat tempat yang tinggi, uh, kita panggil high altitude, eh. Uh, contoh lah ada bukit kan. High altitude, ni low altitude. So, dekat atas ni, uh, uh, molecule akan lebih sikit. Okay. Bila molekul sikit, pressure pun akan sikit. Atmospheric pressure akan sikit kat atas ni. So, bila awak duduk kat atas, kat atas, atas bukit kat atas gunung ke, lagi senang kita punya water nak boil sebab kurangnya pressure. So, jawapan dia is bola. Okay, dia ada kaitan dengan temperature. Dia ada kaitan dengan pressure dekat atas tu. Uh, wait, where is 20? Okay. 20 diagram shows the pressure cooker. The time taken to cook and tenderize meat by using the pressure cooker is shorter than the ordinary pot. This is because the pressure cooker, okay, they trap the steam eh. Bila they trap the steam, pressure akan increase. Bila pressure increase, the boiling point of course akan increase. Remember this one, pressure decrease, boiling point decrease. So, pressure increase, boiling point pun increase because they increase the pressure inside the pot lah actually. Okay, I, I think I need to explain this a little bit more. I explain this a little bit more eh. So, bila pressure increase, boiling point increase kan? Why? Okay. Pressure means tekanan udara eh. Tekanan udara. So, bayangkan dalam pot ni kita ada water lah contoh. Water. So, kita ada pressure. Pressure bila dia high, dia akan tolak air ni. Ha, okay. The pressure akan tolak air ni. Bila dia tolak air ni, This molecule air tak boleh nak escape as steam. Ha, okay. Liquid nak escape to steam sangatlah susah sebab apa? Sebab dia kena overcome the pressure kat atas ni. The force given by the air molecule kat atas dia. Okay. Dia kena overcome dulu baru dia boleh melompat ataupun berpindah phase daripada liquid to steam. So boiling point ni ialah sebenarnya kita nak bagi liquid kita jadi steam. Ha, okay. So that's why bila pressure tinggi, boiling point pun akan tinggi sebab dia kena heat more to overcome the pressure by the air molecule yang tinggi pressure dia ni. Ha, okay. So, bila dia kena overcome banyak, I mean dia kena heat, absorb more heat, of course lah temperature dia pun akan increase dan secara tak langsung increase the boiling point. Ha, okay. Itulah sebabnya kenapa pressure tinggi, boiling point pun tinggi. Alright, so 21. The diagram shows a bowl of hot rice which is covered with an airtight lid, lid and left to cool. Why is it difficult to lift the lid when the rice is cold? The number of water vapor tak ada kaitan sangat lah. The number of water vapor ni. We are talking about pressure here. Okay. So, bila pressure kat luar lagi kuat daripada pressure kat dalam, dia akan tolak all this lid turun bawah. Jadi, susah lah kita nak angkat. Okay, jadi jawapan dia, pressure inside the bowl is lower. Kalau pressure outside the bowl is higher, lid ni akan terkeluar, akan tolak keluar. Kalau awak tak percaya cakap saya, awak try. Try to do it kat rumah. Kau ambil satu, uh, apa, uh, perut nasi lah, tengok perut nasi, senang perut nasi mak awak kan. Bila dia tekan panas, dia punya, peri, uh, dia punya lid ni akan bergerak-gerak, right? Maksudnya pressure dalam ni terlalu kuat sampai dia tolak awak punya lid tu keluar. So that's why lead tu gerak-gerak sikit macam nak naik atas. Tapi selalunya tak ada naik habis. Okay. Okay, 22. 1 gram of ethanol and 1 gram of water are poured onto a table. Ethanol evaporate faster faster compared to water because... Lah, what ada jawapan ni? Jawapan dia betul dah tu. Jawapan dia is C. Okay, 22. Which is the mass, the specific latent heat of ethanol is lower than the specific latent heat of water. Sebab tu lah dia evaporate faster. Sebab dia memerlukan temperature yang sikit je untuk dia boleh evaporate. Okay. Why do people feel cool if they do not dry themselves after swimming in the sea? Okay, this one sama dengan case uh, evaporation of sweat awak tu. So, jawapan dia B lah. Water evaporates and cause cooling. Okay. At a picnic, why would wrapping a bottle in a wet cloth be a better method of cooling than placing the bottle in a bucket of cold water? Sama jawapan dia, which is absorb 
the latent heat from the bottle to evaporate. Okay, ni sama dengan case peti ais. Ha, okay, peti ais yang saya cerita tu, dia absorb the uh, heat. That's why dia boleh jadi sejuk. Burning from steam oh, is more harmful than burning from boiling water is because, of course, that's about dia release the heat uh, during condensation. Okay. Kenapa saya kata condensation? Bila kena tangan kita, tangan kita sejuk. So, bila steam tu panas kan, kena tangan awak, tangan kita sejuk, of course, dia akan condense. Bila dia condense, dia release the latent heat banyak. So, that's why tangan awak akan jadi scalding lah kan. Apa melecu. Okay, now, calculation question. 26. 0 0.8 kg of water at 100 degrees Celsius. Memang soalan ni macam tu ke? <laughs> I don't know lah. Soalan ni apa sah macam whatever lah. What is the quantity of heat required to change the water to steam at 100 degrees Celsius? Okay, of course kita kena guna specific Latin, specific Latin heat because they nak change water to steam. So, Q equals to ML because L equals to Q over M. So, you just have to rearrange this uh, apa? formula to get the heat needed. So, jawapan dia buatlah Q equals to M is 0 0.8 kilogram. M is always in kilogram. Eh? Darab 2.3 times 10 to the power of 6 J kg negative 1. So, kg will be cancelled off, then we left with the joule. So, jawapan dia awak kira lah sendiri eh. Ni saya dah kira 1.84 times 10 to the power of 6 joule. What is the quantity of heat released to change 0 0.6 kg water at 0 degree to ice at 0 degree? Okay, this one is just latent heat evaporation. Uh, tapi dia release lah. Sama je. Q equals to M. L. M dah bagi. L dah bagi. So, 27 would be A. What is the quantity of heat required to change this mass from 0 to 60? Okay, here. Pasal tak kita ada dua jenis benda. Satu, kita nak tukar ice to water. Adakah kita boleh straight tukar ice to water? No. Ice kena melt dulu. Oh, sorry, dia kena jadi ice water dulu. Okay, okay. So, dia kena melt. And then, baru dia boleh naik to 60 degrees Celsius. So, kita ada two kind of heat change here. Ataupun heat needed here. Satu, latent heat. Satu, specific heat capacity. So, this one we call as Q1 lah. This one is Q2. Jadinya, untuk cari the total heat needed. Okay, untuk change 0 degree to 60 degrees Celsius. Ni 0 degree. Ni still 0, zero degree. Okay, untuk nak change, kita akan kena tambah both kind of heat. Satu heat untuk tukar ice to ice water. Satu heat untuk change 0 degree to 60 degree. Okay. Therefore, ML plus MC theta. M dah dapat. 0.02. M dia sama je lah. Ice to water tu. 0.02 kilogram. And then, L dia pun dia dah bagi here. This one is L and this one is specific heat capacity. So, here. Temperature is just 60 degree lah. Sebab kita nak tukar 0 to 60. Temperature change is 60 degree. So, bila you are using this formula, you will get jawapan dia akan jadi uh, 11,720 Okay, both eh. Kena ambil both. Tak ada sebelah je. Okay, 29. The melt naphthalene of mass 0.04 kg at 55 degrees Celsius is cool until it has solidified. 80 degrees Celsius. What is the quantity of heat release? This one pun sama. Okay. Tadi kita nak gain heat. Now kita nak release the heat. Same thing. Kita nak melt dulu. Okay, so kita nak not melt. Kita nak freeze, sorry. Sebab dia cool until... It solidified kan. So, kita nak melt dulu. So, first kita kena turunkan temperature dia dulu. To 80 degrees Celsius. Using specific capacity punya heat. And then, kita nak solidifikkan dia. Temperature sama. This one kita guna latent heat of fusion. Ha, okay. So, jadi dia punya Q1 plus Q2 sama je macam 28. Therefore, Q1 is MC theta plus ML. Right, and you will get jawapan dia is a iums.
Okay, so for 30, 1800 watt of electric heater is used to change 1.5 kg of water at 100 degrees Celsius to steam. What is the time taken to change water to steam? Okay, this one is completely latent heat lah. Cuma ni, sekarang ni dia bagi kita watt. So, dia nak time taken. Okay, remember, Q equals to PT, power times time, equals to ML lah for latent heat. Jadinya, 1800 darab time sama dengan uh, 1.5 kilogram times 2.26 darab 10 to the power of 6. And we get the time to be 1883. Okay. Ataupun 1,883 second. 31. 240 volt, 0.4 kilowatt electrical heater is used to heat 0.1 kilogram of all liquid to its boiling point. The liquid is allowed to boil in 4 minutes again until the mass of liquid becomes 0.8. What is the specific latent heat evaporation of the liquid? Okay, first kita kena cari mass dulu. Okay, mass dia sekarang ni ialah Sebab kita nak untuk 4 minit ni je. Berapa specific latent heat evaporation. So, kita kena cari mass dulu. Mass dia will be equals to 0 0.1 minus 0 0.08. So, 0 0.02. 0 0.02 kilogram ni saja yang dirileaskan ataupun diabsorb. Okay. To allow the liquid to, to change to solid. Eh, sorry. To, to change to steam. So, Q equals to ML kan. Therefore, Q is just a PT. Dia nak L. So, L equals to Q over M. L equals to PT over M. So, P kita sekarang ni 0.4 darab 10 kuasa 3. Darab 4 darab 60. Sebab kita nak in second. And then, dia punya mass is just 0 0.02. Okay, sebab 0 0.02 sahaja yang change to steam. The other tak change lagi. Melainkan dia cakap all of the liquid changes to steam. In 4 minutes or let's say. Barulah kita boleh guna 0 0.1 here. Okay. So jawapan dia will be uh, D donkey. 4.8 times 10 to the power of 6. Cho kg negative 1. Okay. 32. A solid heated by electrical heater. Which one of the following graph shows the solid have the large specific capacity and the large latent heat. Okay, first kita nak tengok large specific heat capacity, kita kena guna formula. So, C equals to Q over M delta theta and then L equals to Q over M. Okay. So, L uh, PT lah kat sini. Boleh guna PT juga. Okay, this one also boleh guna PT bila we are talking about time here. So, C the higher the C, dia cakap pasal temperature juga. Temperature dia kena low. Okay. High, uh, large specific heat capacity. Temperature change dia sikit untuk menyebabkan time dia longer. Okay. So, jawapan dia A eh. Tengok ni. 40 degree je. Tapi time dia nak boil tu 400 second. So, meaning lama time dia nak boil to increase the very small changes in temperature. So, that's mean capacity, heat capacity dia tinggi lah. And also, the latent heat pun akan jadi tinggi bila dia memerlukan time yang lama. Okay. B ni, walaupun time dia sama je dengan this one, tapi temperature change dia banyak. So, specific heat capacity of this one will be less than this one. Okay. Tu maksud dia. C and D tak nak cakap apa lah. Time pun low. Lepas tu, walaupun temp at the same temperature kan. So, jawapan dia is ayam. Okay. Okay, that's that for objective questions. Thank you.